Er mag all noch en dus me wie ge hoevratchen lag bo er he menschen. Wie me fechen jo mer ins bera doi, sie gelo im natralti. Ach vor ihr ger ger, me in kan gan he. Nur lag me kurle ma wer in he. Skoror chilam frit chora i grim ge bela haus natrialon. Ach, before I hug my grad, I'm a chalin boan and labra cool and chari. Stad a velin pla my voina trai. Stad a grui kan na jarak just na kuirin. Chai ma lau har a chuan, svi ma chril an gruam. Le kilur a bin o nainli. Sna trug an mishe kelu lad fi ro pi shalti shaita. Na but as a more in you sin ye, because when you get ten on was me, Mark and Grass the Jenny, where he met a trash or melahone.
you enjoyed that 2008 single of mine, The Drunken Priests of Donegal, based on some old Irish folk tales from Donegal, which my old Irish teacher, Tygenog McEwen, told to me back in the day. So it's Yates' birthday this Sunday, and I'm very pleased to do something more fabulous than I was able to do last year, locked in a room in California, which I still did my best to enjoy, making a radically uh, interesting compilation of original Yates recordings with my own rantings and poetic readings and music. Yes, it was a fun time, which was much needed in those environs. So this year, though, something different. So I shared some music with you, and I played all but the drum and bass in that, Um, and a buddy of mine did a few notes on banjo, but the rest of the whistle and illin pipes and eight-string Irish bazooki and lutes were me, and uh, so yeah, here's another one. What can I play you? Well, this answers the question, what if you wrote a Celtic ballad with chords and lyrics, and set it to a drum and bass line that could be in a Jamiroquai song. Enjoy. Rambles at Night. Oh, where has my love gone tonight, dressed in his finest clothes? Out to meet another love in a moonlit forest grove. From age to age, this tune is played, this song of love and loss. But I'll not sing it anymore, no pleasure is worth the cost. Well, I'm rambling and roving across the emerald sky. I am seeking for beauty and Life set free of lions While wandering drunk Through a long way to town The heart must face its past And here I scream Within a dream Will I be freed at last And Johnny Gorman Sings his song He summons us to recall The joy of youth The pain of age All innocence must fall Well, I'm rambling And roaming across the
We debuted this album at North Country Fair in 2008 with the Mothers of Invention and the Deep Dark Woods and some other bands, The Remains from Australia. Shout out to those boys. We miss them. And uh, this Celtic music eventually formed into more of a recording project as uh, I grew older and formed more ambitious musical productions in different styles of music. So that's the story there. But the Celtic recording is something I've done non-stop, especially layering multiple instruments over each other um, and rapidly putting together original songs and productions. I've done around 12 albums and several studio ones, and some of those are lives and bootlegs, of course, tons of lives. But that is the nature of the beast, especially when you don't mind boring your audience with an hour of child ballads um, finger-picked on a 10-string bazooki or lute or citern depending on your nomenclature choices so it's interesting to re-listen to these songs again um which i don't listen to much but i play them when i have to um thanks for sharing that with me one of my favorites and probably the most popular first of the slew of songs i ever wrote and played was one called hermes walk and it's it's a little kabbalistic and it's Shekinah, Sophia imagery and love and even some biblical stuff thrown in there and as well as of course the nominal Gaelic words a little bit Asquelga for you know fun so here was a popular one um, Hermes Walk <laughs> Touch ground. The wail of the wind makes a ghostly sound. I never needed much from the day I first breathed. Mohyo, now I need your touch. There's love in the forest where I played as a child in Canada. souls are torn and in this battleground we're born and I'm sailing along and down the winds spirits keep me up above my sins I'm walking home far out of sight Hermes give to me all wings for Of the wisdom I had, her flesh against mine, no memory is sad. We pray for forgiveness, Jesus Christ, He can't hear above the ruckus of our fear. And I'm saved.
Desperate we live, but hopeful we die In some lover's arms I will leave my last sigh We cry from our first breath, we cry all our lives Jesus Christ turn my tears into wine I was sitting outside Eason's in Galway, I think on Shop Street or something, waiting for my friends to pick me up so we could go to the pub. And they were several hours late. And I scribbled those lyrics on the back of an Irish music magazine. There's a photo of it somewhere on one of my Instagrams, I'm sure. Anyway, it developed and developed. And, uh, yeah. Tashe Gahalan is Irish for It is Beautiful. Demon Fest, what is that? Well, William Butler Yeats was always called Willie by his friends. But in the Golden Dawn, he was always referred to as Demon. And he wasn't misspelling Damon. His motto was Demon Nest Deus Inversus. The devil's the inverse of God, which was a popularized saying from the theosophical movement of Helena Petrovna Blavatsky, of which Yeats, Yeats was a part um, but for a while, as were many people, uh, m- largely to socialize and connect with others and then form their own subgroups. That would seem to be the way of things. So this year, now on Sunday, from one time to another, that's posted on all the pictures, there will be a little celebration and it will be fun, and there will be some guests, and it will be more like a party, so it's a demon fest to celebrate the life of Demon S. Deus Inversus, W.B. Yeats, and uh, share bits of information, new studies from the Order of Celtic Mysteries that is in development, as well as toasts and cheers and songs and poetry, and uh, yeah, a few gifts that won't be available elsewhere, including I'm doing, uh, releasing finally a 10, 12 episode course on the Celtic gods on the tree of life and, and the way pantheons work within the Kabbalistic framework, focusing highly on the Irish gods in particular that I've written about before, but also looking at some issues that I may not have looked at in that study. And that will be given to everyone in their goodie bag. Otherwise, it'll be out on Lunasa for everyone to enjoy that little Celtic course. Let's do some more music, shall we? Here's one I wrote in 2006, reflecting on my divorce a couple years earlier and those sort of emotional feelings that come with that. It's not necessarily literally true just like the song on this album about getting drunk by the Shannon and having some fantastical dream of f- fortunes and uh, lost love, like I never got drunk by the Shannon. It's just a song. Sometimes songs are just songs, and we poets sometimes write certain things just because they rhyme. Um, yeah, so read into, your, into it at your peril. <laughs> All right, here's a, a song with some wonderful fiddle work by my friend Jaron before he ran off to join Delhi to Dublin. Thanks, Jaron. The time is gone again And the time is gone again And when I see you holding his hand 
as you walk along I just can't pretend that the time is gone again And the time is gone again And the leaves they fall down from the trees As you walk along I just kept my peace And the time is gone again And the time is gone again discovered Yeats, like many of you, at a young age and was drawn instantly into his wonderful lands of Rosicrucian adventures, fairy tales, and magic, with a mixture of Victorian Gothic and uh, then early modernist influences and pioneering, if you ask me. Yeats uh, really did execute his magical will, even though it was never realized in a form of a church, a national Irish church for the Celtic mysteries, which was one of the things he did sort of hope would happen. But the purpose he wanted that to happen was to free Ireland, which happened in his lifetime, except for six counties, of course, and to bring Celtic culture to the entire world, which no one can deny Celtic culture became one of the, if not the most dominant culture at least aesthetically, from that day onward in an increasingly rapid rate. I mean, culminating with the Celtic tiger in Ireland and the economic boom in Enya. Yes, we all know and love it, and uh, many of us have roots there because the Irish get around, don't you? So you can register for this Sunday's party. Um through demonestdeusinversus.com, or you can go to hermeticmysteryschool.com and register there. There's also links at hermeticpodcast.com, as well as magicwithoutfears.com. Stick around to the end, and I'll 
even give you a little code for a discount. So now a song about Cahullin, the northern Irish god, and his journey into the underworld to save his love. Written and dedicated to my grandma, Emily Hay of the Hay Clan. Is the land of shadows where you are? This is the land of shadows where we now are. He put a palm of granite in my hand. He said, Now eat up. Boy, this is the shadow land. He put a glass of wine into my hand. He said, Now drink a pour. This is the promised land. On some old Irish farm Don't tell me you won't leave Don't say that you're afraid This is the land of shadows Through this gate You'll see my land of shadows Through this gate Put a cigarette between your lips I said, now smoke up, girl Here there's no death to kiss I put a dying flower in your hair I said, now smell this, girl Because you're in my lair Each day since coming here You say that you still love me And will wait But now you'll leave And go back through that gate You'll leave my land of shadows Through its gates But I cannot go with you My love And I crying head and I awoke alone here in this darkening room I want to smell your hair I want to see you soon but here I lie in the shadow land this land of shadows this land of shadows alone again Thank you for listening, my friends. 
you can use code FAIRYLOVE for 10 bucks off this Sunday's Demon Fest. Don't miss it. Bring a poem. Bring a fairy story. Bring a drink. There will be many toasts and celebrations and also some good information that you won't have to record because any informational sections will be recorded for your playback through the site automatically. Wonderful, I know. Okay, it's been a, it's been a slice, but uh, I have to go off and play Dungeons and Dragons now. So let's take it home on the rock and roll version I did of the Drunk Priest, which is. Epic. <laughs> Chucky Erlaw 